there's some fun activities you can do um, to teach your kids about circles and pi and circumference and diameter, and they can have so much fun doing it. And one of the things is um, with sidewalk chalk. And if you don't have a sidewalk or driveway where you can do this stuff, you can totally use butcher paper, or a poster board, or even just draw, have your kids draw on paper. You know, I know it's um, it's still winter in some places in the country now. Yes, our ground is this, frozen here. Excuse me? Oh, so I was saying our ground is frozen here. So yeah, we yeah, it may not work in, in the snow right now. Right. But yeah. uh, the cool thing about this set, I got this on Amazon, is that it actually comes with a chalk compass. And there's actually a bunch of different kind of chalk holders. It's super fun. Um, and even if my daughter is older at 12, we were doing this example for um, for the video. We had fun doing it. So it's it's pretty it's a pretty cool thing to do. So um, I would say the first thing you can do, depending on the age of your kids, is to start um, start simple. My daughter had a good tip that um, to use the chalk and make a mark in the center to be the um, center of the circle. That in case the um, the compass moved as you were using it, you could you know adjust it back to the right size. Um, so just play around making circles, and then we decided to make a really big circle using uh, string and. Um, one of the pieces in the box has this sort of like holder thing. So that really helped us um, keep everything in place. And my husband had to help so I could film this. So we can watch the video. This is so neat. I like how everyone's moving around to make it. Yeah, so even more kids, everyone can help out. And yeah. the, the person in the middle has to hold it steady and turn around. But now it's a beautiful, perfect circle. Yeah, and that's it's so fun to do. And so now it's a fun part of decorating. So um, we thought it'd be fun to do circles within circles and show them like, you know, intersecting with each other. Mm. Um, and then we just had fun uh, coloring and taking the time to color and just figure out what we wanted the colors to be with on the inside. But it just, um, it was just a fun experience just to be outside and, and, uh, See all oh, it's beautiful. I was really curious. My dog Lulu wanted to see what was going on. So um, she always likes to pose when I do like when I used to work for a craft and have pictures to pose. So she's posing <laughs> with the art here. But I think the key to show is that, you know, you're showing them circles. You can actually measure them if you want to. Um, mm -hmm. And you can just show them how there's different size circles. And no matter what size they are, every circle is pi. And it's a nice way to get other people excited about circles too, because it's out in your driveway and other people oh, yeah. can so see it when they're walking by. See it, the garbage man, I mean, it's been really fun. So it's still there. So it's it's great, we, we've kept it there. That's really nice. I wish we could do this. Um, our ground is frozen here, so we can't really get out and do any sidewalk chalk right now. Well, even if it is frozen right now, you can do it at home right now. And then in the spring when things get warmer, um, this is a activity you can do even outside of Pi Day. I think it's just a great way again to bring in geometry and circles and in the summer it's perfect time to like just have an outdoor you know drawing activity. Oh yeah that's true. Yeah I really like the working together. That's nice. Totally. 